Touched on through all of our episodes, actually. Yeah, yeah. How, majority. Yeah. How good? How good is Big Z for Kentucky for real? Like, what's his ceiling? Uh, I'll say his his ceiling as a player, he kind of reminds me of Kristaps Porzingis. Um, he can do pretty much anything on the floor. Uh, his biggest asset is stretching the floor. Mm. And then not only that, he's a big problem on the defensive end, uh, blocking shots. Um, on the glass, even if he's not getting those rebounds, he's just a big body in there that you have to look out for. So if they're so focused on him, um, that kind of frees up Mitchell and Bradshaw and everybody else to get those boards and get out and running. Yeah. So – you know, I think it was just great to see him back. I don't know. I don't know what's the ceiling. I, honestly, I, I really don't know. Yeah. Like, I watched the game last night, and I was like, okay, he hit a three. He hit another three. All right. Oh, he hit another three. Got a, a block shot. Okay. I, I feel like there's still more to see from him. Like, I haven't, you know, I haven't seen, you know, his full capabilities as of yet. It looks like he they just put him out there, and he's just, just kind of feeling it out. Um, You know, feeling the college game out. You, you saw him uh, getting – Getting up, hanging on the rim. rim, Yeah, hanging on the rim. That's what I said. Like the NBA, like tendencies. You know what I mean? That's technical in college. Yeah, yeah, he has that. He definitely has that professional uh, European tendencies and stuff like that. But yeah, I I don't know what he. I don't know what's his ceiling yet. I I haven't seen enough yet. I don't. That's a good thing. Uh, Honestly, I'll just say he's he's a pro. You can tell already he's a pro. Um, But like they say, you know, he already had entered his name previously before into the draft twice. You know, he's looking into going into the NBA draft. But looking at him, it's the pro, why I said that, it's the confidence. It immediately came out to the court. We think of that behind the back pass that he threw <laughs> to Antonio Reeves. And it's like, dude, you just this is your first game. <laughs> right. You just got out there. He's he throwing behind the back passes just comfortably. Like, yeah, go ahead, knock that down. You know, and that tells you a lot. Like the game must be coming very slow to him immediately. Like this is, you know what I'm saying? It's not a, him adjusting. It was just like, yeah, this is, you know, same old basketball. You know, I'm gonna go out here and do what I do. And it really, it really gave that energy. Like this is what he does. Like it felt like we already seen this before. Like he'd been playing. He just came back from injury. We, you know, he had someone. Everyone's so excited. It's like, dang, wow, this is really what he brings to the court. And to kind of piggyback off what you were saying with the confidence, um, he was just smiling and just looked like he was just having a great time out there. And after I think his third or fourth three, he ran down court with the uh, Jordan shrug, <laughs> like. His confidence is just through the roof, so, you know, it's always good to have a player like that on your team because it gives the whole team confidence. Like, you feel like you got some extra protection with Big Z back there. We all got to hit the Jordan Strug just <laughs> just for just for Big Z. Everybody's got to hit it. Come on, everybody's got to hit it. There we go. Just just for Big Z. Did I do it right? I, I think so. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> cool. I was making sure. A lot of positivities. Um, 